how important are NCERT books in this entire preparation for JEE? I think you guys answered it in parts in between, but you know, I would just like to get your concluding remarks on that question, that how important is NCERT and uh, yeah, what's the role it plays in preparation for JEE mains and advanced? Anyone who you know can take that question. <laughs> so I feel that the NCRT books are good, but whether they're good or not, or whether they're relevant or not for JE Advanced, depends upon the subject we are looking at, right? So for inorganic chemistry and for chemist for chemistry in general, I think the NCRT books are really wonderful. I personally was so I real I initially used to think that NCRTs aren't so nice, but one fine day, one of my chemistry teachers, an inorganic teacher, he showed me the NCRT book, the inorganic book. He showed me, I think it was a chapter on P block, and he showed me an ITJ paper. I think it was just two or three years old. And he, sh like, there was a direct correlation between the content in the book and what was asked in the paper. And by direct correlation, I mean that an entire passage had just been picked up from the book and put in the paper with a few words and pass like few words and lines omitted, which we were asked to answer. So NCRTs are extremely important because they are not only like they not only cover everything, but they are also very concise and dense. So for a person who is running short on time and wants to cover everything without, you know, reading a whole ton of books, I think NCRTs are the perfect thing to go for, especially for chemistry, not for maths and, maths physics, and physics. Yeah.